Hello students, I welcome all of you to Maths online class. We are going to continue with the same chapter that is numbers up to 200. Alright, so in our previous class we have done, uh, let us recall from page number 1 and we have also done the number names. And I have explained to you about building numbers on abacus and how to form ones and tens. Okay. And also a small rough idea I have given to you on about ones, tens and hundreds. Okay. So today we will do from page number 4. Okay. So students all of you take out page number 4. Take your pencil as well, pencil eraser as well. So, the question, try this from page number 4. Alright. So, observe and fill in the boxes. Okay. So, here you can see 1s, 10s and 100s. Okay. So, this is for 1s. Okay. This 3. These are not joined together. These are all separated, isn't it? So, separated ones are for ones and this type, this one joined but separated from the pairs, isn't it? So, this is for tens and these are for hundreds, okay? This is, that means 10 tens are there, 10 tens. Suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, all together it is 10. That means 10 tens makes 100. And here it is how many? 1, 2, 3, 4. And here it is 1, 2, 3. That means 100. So I wrote it here 1. And 4 tens. So I wrote it 4 here. And it is how many ones? 3 ones. So I wrote it 3 here. In the same way here also. This is 10 tens. Okay. 10 tens. So 10 tens means 100. So I wrote it here 100. For 100, I wrote here 1. And in tens place, there is nothing is there, isn't it? Tens place, nothing is there. So, 0 will come. And these are all separated. So, that means how many are there? 4. That means 4. 4 ones. That means 104. That means 4 ones, 0 tens, and 100. In the same way here, this is 1. 10 tens are there. 10 tens means 100. So, 100 and here it is the second one in this is in the tens place okay they are all uh, this line is together okay these blocks are together but separated from each row that means how many rows are there one two three four five six seven seven rows that means seven tens okay and here is nothing nothing means zero Okay, so the answer is 170. That means 0, ten, zero ones, 7 tens and 100s. Okay, in the same way, there are 3 more questions in the textbook in the same page. So, that one you will be writing yourself, students. Okay, 3 more, three more sums are there. So, that one you will be doing. Now, let me do these questions. This is also from try these from page number 5. Okay, this is from page number 5. So, this is abacus is given. Okay, this is abacus and you have this is 1's place, this is 10's place and this is 100's place. Okay, you have to count the number of beads on the abacus and write it down in the proper place. Okay, so let us count here how many are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 5 ones. And how many tens are there? One, two, three, four. It is four, okay? I have written here five. That is not correct. So let me make it correct, okay? This will be four. All right. This is four. Um, and how many? One. That means 100. That means 145. That means 100, 4 tens and 5 ones. Alright. In the same way this one. 
how many hundreds are there one so i wrote it in hundreds place one will come in tens place how many bits are there two bits so two tens and in ones place how many bits are there three so it will be three ones okay that means 123 in the same way here also how many bits are there you count it ones place you count first one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine ones and how many tens you count it in your book okay one two three four five six six tens are there so six i wrote it here and 100 so it is 169 in the same way here also count the number of beads and write it down okay you count yourself and write it down all right now let us do from page number if you have completed this one please pay, turn to the next page that is question number two all right so draw beads to show the number here you have to draw the beads okay only the first line i have done it for you and these questions okay this one this one and this one you will be doing yourself in the textbook all right students i hope it is clear for you all right now how many are there what is the number given below here it is 163 that means 3 is in 1's place, 6 is in 10's place and 1 is in 100's place. That means what? We have to make here 3 bits. So 1, 2, 3. How many are here? 6. Is 10's place? 6. So you have to make 6 bits here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. Now in 100's place you have to make 1 bits only because it is 1. Alright. The now, now the next question is 108 how you are going to make see in ones place you will be making 8 bits ok these are 8 bits and in tens place it is 0 so you will not make any bits there 0 means nothing so you will just leave it empty now in hundreds place it is 1 so you will draw 1 bits okay in the same way here 184 184 means 4 is in ones place so 4 bits 8 is in tens place so 8 bits you have to make in the tens okay tens part and 100 is 1 so in hundreds place you have to make 1 bit so in the same way here it is 191 that means ones place is you will be making one bit tens place you will be making how many yes you will be making nine bits and in hundreds place you will be making again only one bit all right students so in the same way you please do this one in your textbook okay these two also you do in your textbook that is in page number six all right so now we are going to do question number three that is what is that what comes after okay what comes after then what comes before and what comes between all right so let us first do what comes after okay after 140 114 what it comes children this two at first this is ones place tens place and hundreds place so only the ones place will change isn't it after means after four it will be five so it will be how much it will be 100 it will be how much students it will be 115 after 114 it is 115 okay then after 186 186 after 6 ones place will only change so it will become 187 it will be 187 then after 149 after 9 
it becomes 10. That means when it becomes 10 in one's place, you have to add, you have to change the uh, number in the, if the one's place is 9, then it you have to increase 1 here also. That means in the 10's place will become 5, 49 then 50, right. So, it will become 150, okay students. Then 138, then after 138 it will be, after 8 it is 9, so after 138 it will be 139. In the same way, uh, before, before means you have to write after one, uh, before 150 is 149, okay. Then before 179, before, before 9, 9 is 8. So, before 179, it will be 178. Before 123, it will be 122. Before 146, it will be 145. Alright. So, we have done after and before. Now, one question is left that is, what comes between? So, after uh, 162, 63, then it will be 164. So, it is 163. Alright, students. Now, 125, then 126, then 127. 187, then 188, then it will be 189. Okay. Then this one is 197, 198 and the next number will be 199. This is 98, okay students, this is 8. Alright, this is 8. So, I hope you understood whatever I have done today in the class, students. So, you write in, the, in your book itself in good handwriting. Okay, take your own time, If pause the video and write yourself. If you can do it yourself, you try to do it yourself. Alright, so tomorrow I think I will be going to the exercise. Okay, exercise 1.1 we will be doing. So, only this much in today's online class. Only this much in today's online class. Have a nice day students. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.